Hi friends, brothers and sisters, I am Francis and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel for today is taken from John chapter 15 verses 12 to 17. It goes, My command is this, Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command, love each other. As I was reflecting on this passage, I recalled an old movie called Bicentennial Man. It was about an android who was purchased to do housekeeping chores. And the android, while artificially intelligent, eventually gained the ability to feel emotions. This android slowly built relationships with his original owner, his owner's daughter, and later on, the daughter's granddaughter. Over time, as his feelings grew for the humans, he underwent a series of modifications or operations, if you may, so that he became less android and more human. By the end of the movie, he had become so human that he began to age and died after 200 years of existence, hence the title Bicentennial Man. I was very struck by the android's actions. Because of love, he slowly gave up things that made him an android so he could slowly become human. He could have lived forever as an android but chose to become mortal so he could truly love his woman. Reminds me a lot of Jesus. Jesus could have stayed divine, spared from all the pain he had to endure, but he followed the Father's will and became man so he could live as a man, preach as a man, and die as a man, a manifestation of the Father's great love for us. Now, what does Jesus ask of us in return? Simple, love one another as I have loved you. The love that requires sacrifice. The love that requires that we experience pain. The love that requires that we die to our own selfish needs and desires so that we can be of love and service to others. If I may suggest four actions to show our love for others. Number one, live for others. Live a life where you can be of service to others to give without expecting anything in return, to give without counting the cost. Slowly let go of your personal entitlements and just receive what the world is willing to give you. Number two, obey. Jesus commissioned us to go and bear fruit. In verse eight of John chapter 15, it says, this is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As disciples, we are expected to remain in Jesus as he remains in us and do the disciples' work of spreading the good news of salvation to all. Number three, value everyone. When Jesus said, love each other, there were no conditions attached. He didn't say, love the other believers, love the other Christians, love those who are like you. That means we are called to love everyone we come into contact with, no distinctions, no biases, no prejudices. That includes our enemies. Very recently, we had our elections, and in the months leading to that, we may have had some arguments and maybe even falling outs with some of our friends and loved ones because of political differences. 
I encourage you, mend relationships with those to whom you have strained once. God allowed us to have relationships with these people, and while we may never be sure of the reasons, we can only trust God that He has specific reasons for these relationships. Do not throw these relationships away. And number four, embrace everyone. Accept everyone for who they are. We have different upbringings, morals, values, character, but we all have the same God. It is this same God that unites us. Let us learn to accept these differences, for it may well be these differences that will help us to grow even more in love with God and with each other. Let me end with a rather cheesy message, one that I heard many years ago. It goes like this. Love until it hurts. If it hurts, love some more. If it hurts some more, love even more. If it hurts even more, love until it hurts no more. If you have been blessed by this short reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Francis Ortega. Thank you and have a great day.